Stratified sampling is a method used in research and statistics to ensure that a sample accurately represents the various subgroups or categories within a population. In this approach, a population is divided into distinct groups called strata, based on shared characteristics such as age, gender, income or education level. After dividing the population into strata, researchers select samples from each group in proportion to their size in the overall population. This process ensures that each subgroup is properly represented in the study. Stratified sampling is particularly useful when researchers want to study how different groups within a population respond to certain variables or conditions. Now let's look at some examples. Imagine a school district conducting a survey to evaluate the effectiveness of its teaching methods. The population consists of students from elementary, middle and high schools. If the district uses stratified sampling, it would first divide the students into strata based on their school level. Then it would randomly select a proportional number of students from each group to ensure that the sample includes adequate representation from all school levels. Another example involves a company surveying employee satisfaction. The workforce might be divided into strata based on departments, such as marketing, operations and human resources. By selecting employees from each department proportionally, the company ensures that feedback reflects the views of all areas of the organisation. Finally, consider a national health survey aiming to study dietary habits across different age groups. Stratified sampling could be used to divide participants into age-based strata, such as children, adults and seniors. Each group would be proportionally represented in the final sample, providing more accurate insights into age-related dietary patterns. Now let's look at some benefits of stratified sampling. One major advantage is its ability to improve the accuracy of results. By ensuring that all subgroups are represented in the sample, stratified sampling minimises the risk of bias and ensures that the findings are reflective of the entire population. Another benefit is that stratified sampling allows for more precise comparisons between subgroups. For example, researchers can analyse the differences between age groups, income levels or other categories with greater confidence, as the sampling method ensures that each group is adequately represented. Stratified sampling is also highly efficient when dealing with populations that have significant variability. By focusing on specific strata, researchers can reduce the variability within each group, leading to more reliable and consistent results. However, stratified sampling is not without its weaknesses. One challenge is the need for detailed information about the population before conducting the sampling process. Researchers must know the characteristics of the population to divide it into appropriate strata. Gathering this information can be time-consuming and resource-intensive. Another weakness is the complexity of the sampling process itself. Dividing the population into strata, determining the proportionate size of each group, and ensuring random selection within each stratum require careful planning and execution. Mistakes in any of these steps can lead to inaccurate results. Finally, stratified sampling can be less effective if the strata are not well defined or if there is overlap between groups. For instance, if the boundaries between income categories are unclear, individuals may be misclassified, reducing the accuracy and reliability of the sample.